Okay, this video is a replay in the Carnarvon, which is the tier 8 British heavy tank. No, it's a tech tree one. Um, on the screen is just essentially the, um, the power through the grind I've got. So essentially it's a stock gun on the upgraded turret and the upgraded engine. I've got the optics, the rammer and the powertrain. And as you can see, even with the powertrain, it's still a bit sluggish. Um, primary fire standard out of this gun, so it's pretty good. Um, 150 alpha, um, but it's fast firing. Um, you can really get the damage out. So yeah, this is a really big game. Um, really good um, example of, of the play style of this tank. Really trying to get sort of hold down using the ridges. Um, yeah, it's the really nice um, hold down heavy. Um, I am doing this grind just to get to the tier 10s, to be honest. Um, the Super Conqueror. Uh, Chieftain in particular. Just trying to get into position now. We've got this um, needle vice here um, on two health now. Um, it looks like it's going down into the riverbed. I'm not too sure it's going to last very long. Just see if I can spot it. Hopefully, I could have got the top of the turret or something, but unfortunately not. Just trying to use this house to cover the left, but I realised I need to get going. The idea on this one, um, I was going to go completely around and go down the 1 2 line. I'm <laughs> trying to give the iron rain a bit of a nudge up the hill. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's. The tank is just too sluggish to do that. Um, we're starting to lose tanks now. Um, a couple of tanks down. Looks like the enemy have kind of. Um, they've pushed us out of the map quite strongly. Um, and yeah, we've got lights now. We get spied, might as well take a shot. Um, I'm lit anyway. I'm just trying to push this flank. Um, at this point, I'm kind of thinking the game could get away from me now. At this point, I'm in the corner. The enemy team's kind of pushed up and we're engaged in this flank already, and I'm, I can't get shots. So I'm just wondering what I can do. Um, keep looking over towards. Um, sort of the east side of this map just thinking oh, I think that's where the push is going to come from um, either of ice um, takes down the hood and hounds so um, yeah it, on, on two health that either of is so um, yeah still got a, a fully operational gun um, we're just losing tanks now um, down four not looking good so I've decided we need to go on this hill um, just to try and get some short sort of shots out. Using this rock just to cover my right flank, and I'm pretty sure against um, the enemies in front, the, the um, turret armor at least will hold up. I'm just putting shots into this, into this carry P88 now. Um, it is a very fast firing gun, um, as you can see. Especially like heavy tanks, they can't really um, react in time. By the time you've got the other shot out. Try to take a blind shot there, all times across. Um, lost it all time, but then just kind of tried to aim where it was. Um, unfortunately, the shot didn't come off. Only three tanks down now. Um, looking a little bit better, but I think at this point um, we've lost map control completely. Lights are going up towards that TD. I'm thinking that's the end of the TD, but thankfully one of the enemy lights um, falls off a cliff, and that E device has got another kill. Um, on, on two health. Um, so yeah, I uh, haven't been able to shut that device down, so it is really punishing us now. This light tank is circling that, that TD. I'm going over to help. Um, to be honest, I think I'm in a position now where I don't really think I've got anything else that I can do. Um, there's a couple of lights on the enemy team. I'm just thinking, just want to try and get this one out of the game. Um, looks like I've, I've scared that one off a bit um, seems to be retreating now 
and the TD is hiding behind those buildings over there. Unfortunately, just do track damage. Um, it is on a two shot for me, so that was unfortunate. And um, yeah, that was a very speculative shot I took. Just want to use this ridge. There's a light tank over there. I'm thinking at this point, it's going to spot me. It's going to put shots into me, but it's it's a two shot to me. Should be able to take it down. And um, we've got the, the TD back there as well that should help out. Just going above this ridge now. Not too sure where that shot went, but we've got the um, the Tiger 2's turret. And yeah, just pumping the shots in. Um, just seeing if I can just track it, but unfortunately not. Should have just gone for the lower play anyway. And yeah, that's the um, Tiger 2 down. Got the light tank here, it's just yellowing across now. Um, should really have tried to finish that TD off, but unfortunately, get that's a tracking shot and a, a bounce. Um, but to get the nice free aim shot in there, um, that is something that I've, I've been trying to um, to perfect. Along with that, just the R1, R2. <laughs> but yeah, um, just a couple of tanks down. Um, they've got a light and a RT. Uh, that's the concern. Um, it can hit us from any direction um, and do massive amounts of damage and that light tank is just going to help spot everyone on our team. So I just want to get across this field as quickly as possible. I don't really want to be here. Um, being hold down, as I said, with that RT uh, doesn't really doesn't really matter. Okay, you know, get in a nice position, hold down and get slapped and there we go seems to be focusing me now I think the targeted is on because the artillery is aiming at me um, just want to <laughs> weave and hopefully it won't hit me but um, yep straight into the side um, that's yeah that's artillery uh, unfortunately that's Probably quite a good example of why I've been enjoying Cold War um, a lot. I think it's just artillery. It just kind of ruins the game. Um, I can't play this tank to its strengths, hold down, get on a ridge, because I'll just get blacked by artillery. But even then, on the move, it's um, yeah, it's just overpowered. So yeah, we've still got that Vanguard um, around somewhere. A couple of heavies on on my team. Um, come down to this riverbed firstly to try and break the artillery zone and secondly to negate or as best I can negate the, the light tank's vision advantage over me um, if I was out in the open it could just spot me quite easily and I wouldn't have a chance of out spying it allies ping the map that's where I'm aiming to go um, but I want to take the long sort of safe route and hopefully this heavy tank will um, Will follow me as well. So as you can see, any sort of incline, and it, it does kind of struggle. Um, we've got the Indian Panzer back there. Um, thinking, not too sure what it's going to try and do. The Yolos um, should have quite a good chance of actually going down into the riverbeds, and. Um, essentially brought in with it. Um, just trying to take a snapshot. Takes a big big shot into me. At this point I think it's fairly full health. That was an unlucky bounce. Um, it bounced off my turret but I'm now thinking that artillery is obviously going to try and get a shot in. And I put some nice big shot into it. Um, it still is sort of a, a four shot but this is the real problem, the vanguard. Um, yeah, artillery messing <laughs> Smacks my eye, though. but thankfully my eye takes the vanguard down in one shot, so that was um, that was probably swung it now. Um, got the Indian Panzer over here somewhere. Artillery's over sort of J1, J2, maybe um, K1, K2, somewhere along those, that area, just where the shells are coming in. Um, and yeah, this, this Indian Panzer is a one shot. I'm hoping it comes up this ridge try, to try and get away from my ally. But my ally shuts it down. 
So yeah, now it's just a um, there's a heavy somewhere. There's artillery somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Um, well, they may not have moved out of out of spawn. That's the thing, get outspotted by artillery there briefly. Um, get two shots into it, and we shut it down. And um, just like the size is, is AFK, maybe they um, they quit out thinking the, the job was done. But yeah, with those two those two last kills, get the Rally Waters, um, get MVP on that one. Not particularly high damage game, um, just shy of 3,000, but yeah, eight kills. Um, yeah, really good game in uh, in the Carnarvon. Um, it's definitely worth grinding um, if you can put up with the Churchills. Um, if you do have the free XP, um, probably skip uh, the Churchill Seven. Um, Churchill One at Tier Five is not too bad, but that Tier Six is just just awful. And yeah, um, Radley Wars, but just the first class, which was a little bit surprising. But but there we go.